What is this? A tutorial? Oh, I don't think so. This is... I don't know what it is. I don't know what to call it, but you will see it in the title of the video. Uh, probably something like quick tip, quick photo tip maybe, or something like that. Today, it's all about this. And if you know what this is, then you can go and watch some other videos. If you own a 5D Mark IV and you know what this is, then you can just click some other videos, okay? But for you who owns a 5D Mark IV Canon camera and you do not know what this is and you would like to shoot Tedred, you know, sending your photos into your computer, then you can watch because this blew my mind. Probably everyone in the world knows about this because it comes in the box with the 5D Mark IV. And I just thought, what is this random thing? This is uh, to secure your cable. It's very simple. Secure your cable. And you haven't done this before, Canon, that I know of. Camera. On the 5D Mark III, this didn't exist. So, you know, if you open up this uh, flerp, and uh, USB 3 and HDMI and you open it up and you have this uh, USB 3 connection that you will connect to your computer. Under this USB 3 there is a small hole and this this will fit in this hole. This is like magic and this will be attached over your USB 3 and HDMI connectors. Cause you know, when you're shooting with uh, like a USB cable, like, like this one from Tether Tools, they are specialized in doing these uh, cool orange cables. When you connect this cable to the USB 3, I don't see anything. When you connect this to your USB port like this, and then this other runs to your computer, of course. It's a bit, you know, it's not so secure. It's a bit fragile. If something would uh, hit on the side, it will break, hopefully, the cable, not the camera inside, because then it will be very expensive. So this is a bit unsecure. Tether tools, they make like a jerk stopper. Um, it's like um, you attach something to the cable and you attach it to the camera strap. And they also make uh, something you can attach under and the cable will run under it so it's secured. But the thing is, I like to use this one because this is free. Free is very... This is uh, like an angle on this. So this doesn't fit into this. So my choice would be then to buy, I can buy a jerk stopper because I already have this cable. I don't want to buy a new one for $50 just to use this one. So what I would do, I use this one. This is a cheap USB 3 cable that I buy of my local USB 3 cable guy. And it's uh, for your Swedes. It's a company and uh, they are very cheap. They cost around uh, how much? This is also 15 feet, around 15 feet, five meters. And they are around, I think it's, I paid 18 US dollars for this. And uh, it's the only thing you need to bear in mind is the data transfer speed should be five megabits per second, five. So if you buy this cheap one, you can use this. But don't do like I did. I bought a one that it had, it's a bit too thick. USB micro B connector. So it didn't fit into this because this can only take, I think it's around seven millimeters. And this is like nine millimeters. So, but there are, you know, other ones. Shh. It's like a snake. This is a bit thinner. So this one is a bit thinner. It's around six millimeters. And this fat one is around nine. So what I, I did, I, and I don't recommend this, cut off a few millimeters of this. I just shh, shh, shh. So it looks horrible. But, uh, so don't do this. Find one, you know, you can find it on eBay. They cost like 15 US dollars, a 15 feet long cable. And uh, hopefully it will fit. Otherwise you have to bring out your knife you know, carve a bit. And um, yeah, and you know, 
50 bucks 15 and as a bonus i can use this one if you buy a new one of this you can buy without the angle you can buy a straight one for 50 bucks 15 feet so you can use this you know your choice so i choose to buy this one and uh, how does it work well first i attach this like that and then i will take the usb cable and put it in the right way like that you have this second part this you can slide out and on this one you will attach the cable so i will do it i will put it on i will do like a loop yes and then i take it away and then i will attach it to inside here like that and then i just slide it back just like that and then you have this loop that will prevent it from you know this will not go anywhere at all and uh, also you have this great protection from from hitting it from the sides so it will not break so this is my tip it looks a bit funny and this is when it comes to the studio photography like i mostly do then it doesn't really it doesn't matter that much because the camera is always on the tripod but if you are like a shooting models all day. You're running around with the camera, then you really need this to secure the cable shooting tethered to your computer. So this was the tip of today. Okay, I hope you found this useful. If you didn't know about this, then you can hit like. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>